Cupcake is the performer, the one on stage. Elizabeth is the one you're talking to now. And then you have Marilyn Maho. That's the internet troll and says whatever the fuck she wants, whatever the fuck she wants. So that's that. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Chan Chan. So in this video, we're gonna discuss the recent and very abrupt retirement of one of my favorite female rappers, Cupcake. I'm not a tea channel, drama channel, or conspiracy channel, even though I've dabbled in a few of these areas in the past. But because I don't know everything, everyone does in private, when I get to my thoughts and personal opinions on the situation, I will have to do some mild speculation. But more importantly, I wanted to share my thoughts and opinions because I have been following Cupcake's career for a long time and have publicly supported her in the past and actually still do to this day, and we're going to get to that. This whole situation really rubs me the wrong way, and as a fan of her, as a person and an artist, I wanted to share how I feel about everything and break down this whole situation. So basically, I'm going to break it down from the beefs, the tweets, the retirement, and my opinion. This may be a little longer video, so please be patient with me and enjoy the content. On top of that, I try to give you guys the best content I can, but because I don't have an actual recording mic, I'm working off a pair of $20 Fred Meyer headphones, and it may be hard to hear me sometimes, or the audio might fade out a little bit. Hashtag not sponsored. All right, let's get right to the video. This situation is very bizarre and out of the ordinary for Cupcake's behavior, but we're going to get to that later. There's literally so much of this situation. I definitely have like a five paragraph essay and 21 tabs of research open on my laptop based on this Twitter beef alone. I'm going to summarize it for y'all. I'm not completely sure about the order of events, but please be patient with me. We're going to run through who Cupcake said it to and what she said to them. Cupcake said to or about these celebrities. We're going to start with Jay Park that Jay Park is bad at pretending to be black, to her about Camila Cabello, that she is racist, and that Cupcake said that she had smashed Shawn Mendes, which is Camila's boyfriend. Well, so they say, because there's a lot of speculation around that. She said to her about Shawn Mendes, that they had sex, and that he is gay, and that we'll just say his pink pepper is small, if you know what I'm saying. And lastly, that Chung Ha can't dance and made fun of Chung Ha's name. And basically that's when everybody had had enough. The Chameleonizers, whatever, Mendezers, whatever they're called, basically all their stands were not having it and they swarmed to Cupcake's Twitter to cuss her out and play Twitter fingers. So I want y'all to go ahead and look at these tweets. So the tweets will be categorized into what Cupcake said. Then we're gonna move into the negative tweets and the positive tweets made to or about Cupcake regarding the situation. Basically, I've been looking on the internet for 30 minutes, and I actually can't find the tweet of what Cupcake said to Jay Park about trying to act black or pretending to be black. Uh, just because I don't have it doesn't mean it didn't happen. Everybody is saying that it happened. Basically, I logged into Twitter and everybody was talking about that also, but still can't find the tweet, so I'm not really sure if that's a thing or not. Honestly, there's really no proof that she actually said this to or about Camila Cabello or Shawn Mendes. People are saying that that's who she was talking about, but honestly, she didn't say any names. She didn't really state who she was talking about. So people are just inferring that that's who she's talking about. But basically, the people who are saying that really don't have anything to back it up. But for video purposes and for the speculation purpose, I'm just going to go ahead and say that this is what she said to Camila Cabello, even though she didn't put a name on it. All right, let's get right back to the video.
y'all saw those tweets. And what I'm going to do now is I'm basically going to run through the people who she tweeted to or about. And I'm going to give my analysis on what she said in that situation. So basically, we're going to start with Jay Park. So she, well, I can't really find the tweet, but people are saying that it was tweeted. So I'm just going to, for this purpose, I'm going to say that she actually did tweet that, even though I can't find the tweet. But that's what everybody's saying. So she said that allegedly that Jay Park is bad at pretending slash trying to be black. And honestly, if you take a look at Jay Park, Jay Park is a hip hop dancer. He's got that very hip hop swag. And the way the way he talks and the things he does are very synonymous with black culture. And so I think that's where she was going with that. Um, I don't really think that she was trying to say that he was cultural appropriating black culture, but that he was he his style is just very similar to the style of a lot of black people in black culture. So I think that's where she was going with that. Uh, Camila Cabello, what she said, well, what she allegedly said about her, but she definitely didn't put a name on it, uh, is that Camila Cabello is racist. Honestly, I've actually heard that before, and I've seen tweets, I've seen people talking about that. Like, this isn't new news. People have been talking about Camila Cabello being racist for an actual, like, really long time. And that's why I don't know, I'm not sure why people were very mad about this, because I have heard this come out before. And it really isn't new information to me because it's been surfacing the internet or circulating around the internet for a really, really long time that she is racist and that she has a racist past. And something was going down between her and Normani. I think it was allegedly that she had called Normani uh, the N-word behind her back and she got caught up doing that. And people were like, no, that's not okay. Uh, we see you for who you are. And they were not having that with Camila Cabello. Now, with the when Cupcake said that she smashed Sean, now that's a whole different topic. I really, I don't know if that happened. Um, I really, I'm leaning toward more towards no that that didn't happen. But honestly, I'm really not the one to say because a lot of things happen in Hollyweird that I don't know about. I can't. I'm not with her 24 seven. But it just seems a very odd thing to happen. Like. I'm just imagining it and I'm like, uh, that's a little different. That's a little outside of the box. So I'm really not sure if that happened. Uh, on top of that, what she said to Sean Mendez or about Sean Mendez that he is gay. I'm not sure, but to be honest, that rumor has been circulating around the internet for a long time that he is a homosexual. And to be honest, I really don't think it is polite or okay at all to ever out somebody and their sexuality. If they don't want to talk about it, you don't have the right to talk about it. That's not cute. That's not okay. And to me, that's not something that I would personally do. And okay, let's move on to the next one to her talking about his pink pepper. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about his weenie. Um, <laughs> if she saw it, good for her, because I know a lot of people have been wanting to see it. But um, her saying it's small, not sure again. Don't know what happens in Holly Weird. Don't know what happens in Hollywood. Don't know what goes on with that whole thing. So next, the whole thing with Chung Ha saying that Chung Ha can't dance. I mean, that's Cupcake's own personal opinion. If she thinks that Chung Ha can't dance, I mean, that's basically what she thinks and she has the right to say that and state that on twitter i mean hey that's just what happens when people have their own opinions and they put them out <sighs> so next is that when she made fun of chung ha's name and see there people are really on twitter they're saying that there is a lot of cultural significance with the name chung ha and i'm really not sure about that but definitely if it's a traditional name there would be cultural significance to that uh, but I really don't think Cupcake was out here trying to make fun of the cultural significance of her name. And I'm going to get further into the whole Chung Ha situation because that goes deeper than I care to talk about right now. We're going to move that into a different section. I think it's going to be towards the end. Uh, but I feel like this when it comes to names. So if there's like a traditionally American name, like let's say, um, Isaac, 
like the name Isaac, if there's a traditional American name like Isaac, and I say I don't like the that name, does that mean that I don't like American people? Is that what's going on? I'm not really sure how it got equated to her being racist because she said that she doesn't like somebody's name. Um, I really don't think she was trying to be offensive in that situation, but I'm not really sure. It's basically, to, to be honest, all of this is how you want to take it. All right. Basically, next we're going to get into the completely insane responses to this whole situation and all the clownery that people are saying on Twitter and why none of this crap makes sense. So I'm going to start the music for y'all. Da 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 circus. Da 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 circus. Next, we're going to get to the people who supported Cupcake, people who basically called out the BS and hypocrisy early on. I'm not really sure of the timeline, but either before, during, or after all this, I'm pretty sure after though, Cupcake did two lives, one where she was basically just talking about all the things she tweeted, saying that she had done it and why she had done it, and then after that, she made a statement about retiring. She said that she was actually going to retire and that she was done with the music industry, and it was like a really disturbing video she was crying and she looked really sick and unhappy almost like she was suffering from some sort of depression i'm not going to exactly insert the lives into this video but i am going to link them down below so you can go ahead and watch them they're both really abnormal and very much out of character for cupcake uh she looks really depressed and very sick she says she's fine, but obviously we can tell that she's not. So we're just going to move to the next section. But the lives will definitely be linked below. <laughs> 